Well, I'll do that, chums, as I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm fishing on a radioactive planet. So we go, radioactive. And I think I'm going to start with the colossal fish first. There's only four colossal fish to be found. Three of them, well, all of them actually, can all be found in night and day. And one of them needs storm conditions to be found, the boiling shark. So hopefully if I go to the deepest part of the ocean, put on the bionic law, I should be able to catch all of these relatively quickly. The rarest being the helix sawfish. Let's go see if we can catch those four. So I've built myself a little radioactive base. We've got a teeny little pond there that's only 0.5 used deep for catching the small to medium fish. Let's head on in. We've got our power room. Along here, we've got ourselves our very first hole, which is 30 use, very good for small to medium fish, maybe the odd large. 45, starting to get medium to large. And through on here, we've got 70, which is large to colossal. And then over here, I've got 90 use, which is majority colossal. And then I've got one more here, 115 use deep. Okay, right, so let's cast on in. You can see there, 117 U's. I've got the bionic law on. Let's see if we can catch that lovely, awesome fishy. Heck yeah. Cool. Leave it to me. I'll um, reconvene when I catch something wonderful. <laughs> 170 U's, 17 U's deep, and I'm still catching small. It's uncommon, though. But yeah, it's supposed to be found in shallower water. Work that one out. Yeah, uncommon. Yeah. You're still going to catch them, but they're rarities. They're rarities. It's like catching a colossal in shallow water. It happens, but it happens very, very rarely. Okay, well, I just caught my first colossal in here, and it's irradiated waters. Freaking awesome. Yep. We are using the bionic law. Now, that's supposed to attract legendaries, but we still catch commons on it. Just got a medium. Radioactive waters. Pretty nice. Yep. Counts. Not medium size. Like, yeah, radioactive welds. Lovely. Okay, so it's just warned me of an incoming storm. Now, one of these fish is a storm fish, I believe, isn't it? Let's just take a look. Yes, the boiling shark. So we're going to hope that we catch the boiling shark during this period of storm. I'm gonna, mm, okay, all right. Immortal flatfish. Nice. Let's keep going. Yep, it started flashing red now. So hopefully... And the case of storm is a brewing. Hopefully we catch the stormfish. I'll let you know if we get lucky. I mean, to increase our luck, what we could do is go into the actual bait and swap the bait or the storm bait. The Magnapos. There we go. And we 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 try that. Let's put that in the water. I mean, after all, that one that I'm trying to catch right now. The boiling shark is actually blue, so it's an uncommon. So we don't really need the the you know, the bionic law because that that gives you an increased chance of getting a legendary, doesn't it? I don't know whether that fork tail is um, irradiated. I mean, it came off it too quick, but let's carry on fishing. Hopefully, we will get this boiling shark. Come on! Yeah, still red, still in a storm. Be a boiling shark. We got him. We got the boiling shark. So there you go. Right bait, right time, right conditions, right depth. Bang! Boiling shark. Right, so now I've caught that one, which I thought was going to be one of the hardest catches inside of this area. I can go back to the bionic lore. The other one that's really going to be elusive is going to be the legendary. The legendary, let's just remind ourselves of what that was, is a helix sawfish. It doesn't look all that, you know. It's one of them little guys. Yeah. That basically yeah nothing too impressive well that's legendary it says a polymorphic twisting always in motion his body a constant whir of shimmering forms and a ripping teeth that does sound pretty cool actually sounds cool don't know whether it's going to look cool when we get it out of the water okay we've got another colossal i think we've already pulled that one out of the oceans but that one's quite cool looking the other one is the Alpha Squid. There's not much of a write-up, not much to go by on this. I thought I'd just got it then because it was purple. No, nope. mortal flatfish. But yeah, medium-sized. Cool. And keep at it. Well, this is odd. We just caught a small creature at this sort of depth. It's radioactive, so 
uh, at this rate, I'm going to probably catch everything I need to catch in this area out of this one hole. So some people say, you know, depth doesn't matter. Well, I suppose if you are looking for some really rare fish at the largest depth, then perhaps not. And then if you go look for the smallest fish that are you know, super rare, because there's usually a legendary at smaller size, hopefully you're going to get the overlap and catch everything in between, which has happened to me on other biomes. We have just gone and caught ourselves the Colossal Aquatic Alpha Squid. Extremely rare. I'm very happy with that. We've just got, I believe, just the Colossal Legendary left to go now. Doing good. Just got another small one. <laughs> but it's radioactive, so it counts. Daylight hours. There is a good chance I'm going to catch everything out of this one depth. Okay, jumps. This is sort of like a little mini segue in how far I've been, how far I've got so far. And something that's really interesting is though that I'm fishing at the deepest of depths, you would expect to see quite a lot of colossals and larges. But what I've actually caught at this depth so far is a lot of colossals, which, in fairness, that's what I expected. But I've caught no larges, not a single large fish yet. And I've caught quite a lot of mediums, which it's a little bit unexpected. But then on top of that, I've actually caught quite a substantial amount of smalls, which again, you wouldn't expect fishing at the deepest. I mean, especially when you hover over these, and it even says, typically found in shallower water. It's a bit weird. Some biomes, like the last one I'd done, the exotic biome, it was very much where you fished mattered. On this irradiated world, not so much. I think they've got a little bit more balancing to do inside of the fishes. I really do. When it comes to large fish, there are four to get. There's a glowing catfish, a radiant sunfish, a cyclops eel, and a gamma squid. One caught at night, one caught at day, and two any old time. Oh, <laughs> I just caught, I just caught the large cyclop eel. Okay, and um, yeah, day or night. That's the first large I've got. And it's just, that's just taken me by surprise. I'm just calling it out and then it fixes itself. How bizarre is that? Okay, well, that's my first large. Boom. Cool. Okay, I'm just caught in a port cat tailed spice splicer. Can only be caught in a storm, so that's quite good. Medium size. So it's nice that we caught that now. Awesome. Just caught another large. That's my second large now. This one, Daylight Hours, Radioactive Worlds, Radiant Sunfish. Very nice catch. Ooh, that looks cool. The Twisted Gulper. Very nice. Uncommon, medium-sized, lovely jobs. Okay. I think we are going to catch every fish at this rate. Well, that's my first legendary. Not the legendary I want. I've caught these in every biome so far. These are Dragonfish. Very cool. But um, not what I'm after. Yeah, now I've just got a small and the deepest hole. Yes, I use, I'm using Bionic Law, so rarity is good. But I really feel that anything that's not biome lot, biome specific, different habitats all over the galaxy, I think you should only be able to catch this sort of stuff if you use something like maggots or you use no bait at all. Otherwise, I think if you've got bait on the line and it's something pretty darn decent that you've took time to craft, I don't think you should catch this sort of stuff. This stuff is just serves no, no purpose, no interest. It's not good for those that are trying to complete their catalogue at all. If I'm going real fishing in real life, I'll put a fly on the fish, on the line, if I want to catch myself trout or, or salmon. Yeah. If I want to catch a pike, I'll put on a, a spinner or a lure. Uh, if I want to catch a carp, I'd use bread or I'd use cheese or something like that. You know, you know what baits are going to pull what fish out of the ocean. And at the moment, we're not seeing that inside of here. I, I might send this video over to Hello Games and say, can you tighten it up a bit? Maybe make it so these fish that are found in all different habitats. So you've got another one. And this is on bionic laws, which are hard to make. Different habitats. I think you should only catch these if you're using something like maggots or if you're using no bait at all. Okay? Otherwise, I think that you should be hooking biome related fish only when you've got a bait on the line that you've crafted. Jumps! We caught the legendary. This is the one that I was after in this hole. Awesome. Colossal aquatic creature found in the irradiated waters. Lovely. And we've now caught him. So that's every single colossal fish caught. That's There's only four to be had anyway. But um, we've got all four of them now. 
So you know what? What I'm going to do is go down to the smallest of holes that I've got. And I'm hoping in between the two, hopefully we're going to get some sort of overlap. The only one that I don't think we're going to get overlap with is the large fish. I think they're going to be the last ones I catch. And I think I'm going to catch more around this 45 mark. In between 45 U's and 55 U's is where you sort of catch your larges. So let's head on over to here. Let's go to my small hole over here. Yeah. Whoa, I nearly fell in my small hole. There we go. And uh, let's uh, get casting into there, shall we? Must cast into water. There we go. Hey, yeah. Boom. And I'm standing in this sort of like little hut thing, just in case the weather tries to push me all over the place. Right. So if I then go for small, how many? Oh God, there's a load of smalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven smalls to be caught in here. And you can see there, there's one that is limited to day, where all the rest are night and day. There's no storm related ones in there. And the rarest is the many-eyed jellyfish. You can see that it's legendary. It says, a thousand eyes erupt from its soft flesh, a never-ending cycle of rising, blinking, sinking and re-emergence. That sounds freaking epic. OK, well, we just caught a small prawn, but I caught him, I think, in the previous area. That says two prawns. No, nope, there's only one. I've already got him, though. Well, let's carry on, then. Cool. I mean, I've got three of the seven, so I haven't got many to go. Let's just carry on. So we get. I wonder if there's any really common ones amongst these. Bulging snapper. Oh my god! I just caught the many-eyed jellyfish. Heck yes! Well, that's the hardest one to catch in this area. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, if I wanted to go for the bulging snapper, that's a common. I don't think I've got the bulging snapper right now. Let's grab this and let's put that down here. No, I don't. I don't have any commons in this area. So you know what? Let's take the bait off the line. We'll do a bit of dredging because there's a couple of things that I haven't caught that are flopsam at the moment. I haven't even got technology out. So hopefully we might catch some of that while we're trying to get this uncommon. So the bulging snapper is uncommon. There's also a spotted protofin, which is common. And there's a fields dartfish. There's three commons. We just caught the spotted protofin I just mentioned. Cool. OK, that's another one down. Cool. We're doing good. We're doing very good. We've already got the ionized clam. I think we've got the neutral edge. Yeah, I think we just got commons to go. There we go. We've got the um, neutral edge skipper, but I think I've already got one of those. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, I've now got two of them. So where's that common fish I just caught? Spotted. There you go. We'll stick him down there. That's not radioactive, is it? No. Or that one? No. Cool. Let's just move those down so we free up a slot next to the top fish. Oh, we've got a pond skipper, but we find those across the galaxy. Charles, we just caught ourselves the small fields dartfish. We only need one more in the small section. And I think that one is the bulging snapper. Sadly, there's not much of a write up to go by inside the app. No other hints, but it can be caught in day and night, and it's common, so I didn't have too much of an issue catching this one. You know what, I'm thinking about going to the next depth up and fishing for mediums, because you're going to get small and mediums in the same places you're going to get mediums. And hopefully I might get this uncommon one just by sheer chance. Yeah, you know what, that might not be a bad shout. We can try that. If it doesn't work, I can always come back, can't I? OK, let's go up to the next depth which is going to be 30 U's. And you know what? Let's put on, let's put on the Bionic Law. Ciao. You can see that's 30 U's. Nice. So what is at medium depth? Oh, geez, there's quite a lot at medium depth. That's all of those. Yep. So that's what one, two, three, four, five and six. There's one for storms, which I think I might have already got. And there's two for night and the rest of day and night. That one that's night, though, at the very bottom, the Arborant Duskfish is actually legendary. So we're aiming for that and hopefully we get that small common bloater fish while we're fishing here. But we are using the Bionic Law, which limits how many commons I'm going to catch. OK, Twisted Gulper. Nice. Medium size. We've already got that, though. Carry on. 
So it is night time at this depth. I would like to hope to catch the inverted snapper, which is a night fish. Um, the only thing is I am using a bait, which is a little bit better than it needs to be for the inverted snapper. We've got a moon turtle, which is night time. So I'm wondering whether if I just change the bait to the shadow law just for the rest of the night, hopefully we can catch that slightly rarer, harder to catch medium fish. The one that I'm after, inverted snapper. And it looks like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, it only comes out at night. It's common. So this is probably the perfect bait at the perfect depth at the perfect time. We should hopefully get him. We got him. There you go. Bait at the right time. Every perfect conditions. Pretty much a given. You know, if you know what you're fishing for, you know what you're angling to get, you can you can you can pretty much get it. You just gotta be a little bit savvy about what you're doing. So the aberrant dusk fish is caught at night, but it's it's rare. So I'm going to have to use the bait that I've got now to give give me the chance of getting the legendary because he's legendary, not rare. He's legendary. So using the shadow orb, I don't think gives you the chance of legendary. The rarity catch rate on it is quite low. Yeah, could do with finding myself a better bait for legendaries at night. Because I am at the, the hands of the gods right now when it comes to what I'm going to be pulling out of the ocean. Just got another legendary, but it's small. You know, in this hole you are going to catch more mediums, but you are still going to get small, so I caught a small legendary. Ah! Well, jumps, I've just caught the bulging snapper. What I'm doing during the day is running back to this little pond and taking off the bait and casting in. In fact, I put maggots on and I got him. Well, mealworms. I use mealworms. Mealworms, got him. So back into here and I've got to wait for night time to roll around, which is still a little way off. So uh, I could go up into the next category over where I'm trying to fish for larger fish, which is about the 70 use mark. Put back on my bait, one of these guys, the Bionic Law, and let's see what we've got to catch at this sort of depth when it comes to large fish, because as you know, I've caught many large fish. There we go. Okay, so the gamma squid is what we're after. And that's the legendary gamma squid. Comes out day and night. There's also a common here, a glowing catfish. It only comes out at night time. Okay, I think we've already caught the radiant sunfish though. Okay, cool, yeah. Let's uh, see if we get lucky. Come on, be lucky. Come on, come on, come on. No. Okay, let's just carry on then. Well, we just caught the large glowing catfish, which I definitely needed. It's a large creature. Cool, so I can go towards the large bucket. But it's not the one that I wanted. I mean, it is night time right now. We are using the bionic bait. So hopefully we're going to catch the fish that I do want, which is that elusive one. But yeah, cool, yeah. So the one I'm after is actually this chappy, the Gamma Squid. Yeah, it says a pale blue glow surrounds it as it drifts through the waters. A warning to all those that would come too close. Gamma Squid. Pretty cool. Ah, we've got a storm coming in. So now, as well as also catching night fish, I'm going to be catching storm fish. So that now reduces the chances of me getting this legendary. Dang you, storm. What another one of these? Dang it! Yeah, so I've moved to my 45 use hole, mainly because there is actually a medium-sized fish that I haven't got yet, which is the apparent dusk fin. Um, and that comes out at night as well. So there's two night ones. So either I could end up catching the gamma squid or the dusk fin. Oh, there's the gamma squid! We got the gamma squid! Freaking awesome! Heck yes! All right, brilliant. So let's hope we get the dusk fin now. It's still night. Am I being greedy? Am I being over optimistic? Yes, on both accounts. Okay, so let's get this guy and put him there. So that's my large. Done. Good. The storm's clearing, which means now I can just focus on nightfish. Cool. 
Don't know how much of Knight's left, though. Yeah, considering I just caught a legendary large at 45, I've just moved down to 30 just to see if that improves my medium catch. I was catching a lot of mediums, though, back at 45. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming up now. No, it's not. It just must be lighter or brighter inside of there for some reason. Come on! A medium size. There we go. Let's have a look how much time's left. Oh, it's 4.21 in the morning. I think the sun comes up at 6, doesn't it? Okay, we haven't got long left. Okay, I just heard all of the... Um, Solar panels wearing back into life. So now I need to go for large fish. So I'm going to go up to my 70 hole. And I've still got a couple of larges to catch. So here we go. Back into there. Boom. Let's have a look. Because I think some of these larges are actually common. So I might be able to get take... Oh, actually, there's only four to be had. Hmm. Huh. Well, which ones have I got? So the only one I need is a glowing catfish. And guess what? turns up at night time and it's common so the only fish i need now are nighttime fish Aha. fun times okay so night we've got the inverted snapper we just need those two now the glowing catfish and the aberrant dusk fish uh one of them's large and the other one is medium Right out. So I've got to just wait until night time rolls around now, people. There's no other fish left to catch. So another thing that I think should happen is you see I've got the shadow lure on right now. Because I want to catch the night fish, it'd be nice if it attracted night fish even in the daytime. And then you can use the day orb at night if you need to catch day fish. So when you're in this situation, you don't have to sit around for freaking ages. So hello games, if you're watching, please make that a thing as well. Jams, I've actually caught the glowing catfish. I've caught him already. Ah, I got him. So, I've only got one fish left to catch, and it's a large. It's a large, only comes out to play at night time, so I've got to wait around till night time. And that's this whole biome done once I've caught it. Look okay. it. Actually, it's a medium that I've got to catch. It's that dusk fish, the aberrant dusk fish. This guy. He's the one that's eluding me right now. Its wings beat slowly as it sails through the poison seas, a drifter of no rest, no end in their journey. Strange how it says poison seas when it's radioactive. Okay, all right, well, night time it is. Well, not just yet it isn't. Right, chums, well, I'm fishing in between 20 and 30 U's. I'm fishing at night. I'm using the bionic lure. I've got everything in motion that I need to catch this legendary medium-sized fish. Let's hope we get him. Oh, that's not him. Okay, chums, well, the time is fast approaching 7 of the p.m. So hopefully night time is going to roll around again. And I'm going to be putting my rod in my medium hole. And hopefully, oh, there you go, it didn't close up. So on the previous planet, 7 o'clock was the time that night time came in. And this one might be 8. So as I said that, they closed down. Ten past seven. All right. Okay. Anyway, I digress. Let's um. Let's fish this hole then. Zoom. Boom. How deep's that? Twenty-three years. I do. I'm after a medium fish, legendary. So we'll see how we get on. Darn it! When the sun comes up at five a.m. in the morning on this planet. Okay, it doesn't give me much window to catch this fish. Another thing, you know, I'm using the bionic law. Because Bionic Law has given me the ability to catch Legendary. Now, if I've got a Legendary to catch at night, and it only appears at night, the Shadow Orb doesn't give you Legendary. So, it really narrows your chances of successfully catching a fish. There needs to be other boats inside of the game that give you Legendary catch rate at night, at day, and in storm. Because those Legendaries are super hard to catch. And I've used probably about... 110 bionic laws trying to catch this one legendary night catch at the moment just to give you an indication of what that night catch is it's just super hard it's called the aberrant dusk fish this guy inside of radioactive places it's weird it says poison seas but it's an array radioactive sea so i think the text is wrong as well but there we are 
Well, let's suppose you can have radioactive poisoning. That's something I've definitely heard of. But poisoning I would associate with swamp or toxic wells. Whereas this would be irradiated, so... But radiation is still poisonous. I don't care. Okay, yeah, Jums, I've come up with a cunning plan. I've put down a save point. And the idea is I'm going to hit that save point. And then over in my save points to reload, you should see roughly when I've created the save point. Yeah? Just as it hits night time. And what I'm hoping is it doesn't do two auto saves during the night. Because if it does, this, this, this cunning plan is not that cunning. The idea is, is, if I don't catch what I want in the night, reload the autosave and go back and repeat the night. Um, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, <laughs> okay, right, it's only 1.44. We'll be putting this into action in a bit. Okay, we'll see if it works. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, Jums, if you do want to come to this irradiated planet, then I'll give you the actual coordinates while we're waiting for it to go back to night time. There you go, there's the coordinates in the bottom left hand corner. If I remember to, I'll make those as big as possible on the screen for you. I know I didn't do that last episode, sorry. Ha, <laughs> didn't see him in. Anyways, let's get back to it. It is quite glorious watching the sunset, you know, with all the reflections and all the sort of ray tracing that's now inside of game. It has become something beautiful. I remember a few years ago where we were saying, when, you know, we first heard, heard about ray tracing coming to Minecraft, oh, I wish it came to No Man's Sky. Well, it has, and it's here. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, is it getting close? It's getting close to the 7 of the PMs. So, you know what? What's the time in real life? It's 6.21 in the evenings. So I'm going to hit up a save, and I'm going to hit it again. And then I should have two saves there now. Okay, I've just still got one. Come on, work, dang you. Well, we've got one at 6.21. All right, fine. Well, that's the one that I want. Okay, so it's going to be turning to night time any second now. These little guys over here should start. Yeah, extreme night radiation detected. These little solar panels should start to close in a second. In about five, four, three, two, one, and now. Okay. They didn't. Right, they will do. Cool. Well, it's night time anyway. I'll probably hear them. In... There you go. I heard them close now. So we're casting in, and we're still using the bionic law up here. We're on 172. Now, the idea is if I go all the way through the night without catching this fish, hopefully I'll be able to do a reload of that save point and do the night all over again. That's the idea anyway. But then again, I might catch the fish, and then this experiment. Mm, I could still do the experiment, couldn't I? Well, I caught a, a giant sea snail. Well, there's a sea snail, but it's a small one. Okay, right, let's... Uh, I want to catch medium-sized fish. Yeah, 31 use. That should be the medium level. There we go. We've got a medium. It's not what I'm after. I'm after a legendary medium. I was catching quite a fair few smalls at uh, 30. So I've gone to my 45 use. There we go, 45 use. We're still in storm conditions, but I just caught another medium there, which is good. So this is a bit better, I think, at 45 views. So we're catching the odd small, though. Fun times. Even at 45 views, I'm catching more smalls than I'm catching mediums. I think for every one medium, I'm catching three smalls, which makes it a little bit more tedious. I think I've got another medium on the line now, looking at that hologram. No, it's actually a large. It's actually a large. All right, go on. So we're getting everything in the spectrum between small, medium and large. We're up in 45. We've got ourselves another medium. Do seem to be getting more mediums out of 45 than I was getting at 30. Although back when I was fishing at 30, I was getting smaller mediums and less larges. I'm now getting more larges at 45. So perhaps I need to go back to the, the 30 pool. We'll see. Just got another medium. I guess I'm staying here then. Got another large. You know what? I think I'm gonna leg it back down to the the thirty. Dilly dilly down. And we we'll continue fishing here. Zap. Thirty use. There you go. Small. You get you get more smalls than mediums here, but I wasn't getting any larges, so. Oh, swings and roundabouts, isn't it? 
There we go. We've got a medium, and it's a rare. Come on, please, just please. Medium, legendary. Let it be the dusk fish or whatever it is. Come on, fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Beats, beats. Just want to be done with this planet. Oh, this this is probably the hardest fish I've had to catch. No lie. Oh, and I did all the others relatively quick. I did all the others in probably about two hours. This one has taken a good two hours already on its own. It's not good. Game time is nearly four in the morning. Sun comes up on this planet at five in the morning. So I haven't got long left. Oh, am I going to get it? Just heard the sat and I've just heard all my solar panels just come into life. And then the sun is coming up. Well, the rod was in the water at night time. Let's just see if it works. Come on, last fish. No. Right. Let's do the reload. And it was at 621. So it means I get all my baits back. And hopefully it's back to night time. I lose all those fish that I just caught. It's like it never happened. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it rolls me back to being night time again. Hopefully it works. Come on! Work, dang ya! <laughs> okay. Alright. Hold on. The solar panels are doing what now? No. It keeps the same in game time. It keeps the same in game time, so I just lost all those fish. <laughs> uh, did I get all my bait back, though? That's, that's, that's the question. Hard to know, really. I was on 170 something. Uh, ba -ba -dum. Oh, 172. Yeah, I got my bait back, lost all the fish, but the in game time just carries on. Let's see, look, it's 6 02 in the morning. So I still got to wait for night time to come around. So that idea of the save point, not a good idea. You know, oh, we live and learn. Don't try that at home. <laughs> But something I've noticed is the sea's bounty attracts nocturnal fish, but the rarity improvement is only 19%. I don't think that's going to be all that great. I mean, the Shadow Law does rarity improvement of 35%, but it doesn't mention that it's going to help you catch legendaries. Now, this is a legendary night fish. I don't know. Maybe I should try the Shadow Law for one night. We'll try the Shadow Law for one night and see if we... I've never caught a lad legendary on it, though. That's the, that's the problem. Mm. We'll give it a go. I don't think there's any other better baits for night fishing right now, people. I'll have a look at the app and we'll find out. I'm drums. I've just brought up the bait on the actual app, No Man's Sky Assistance app. And the actual Shadow Law, it says it's got a 50% catch rate for legendary. They all have, apart from the Bionic Law, which is 150%. I don't know where they're getting those stats from. Not what I'm seeing in-game. So maybe, hopefully, it's through testing. Which means, maybe... I might be able to get a Legendary on the Shadow Law. Not that I've, I've managed to catch anything Legendary on the Shadow Law. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Because I can't find a bait that's any better than the 35% that I'm getting here. There is one item inside of the bait list that's been done by Good Guys Free that states that it's going to be night time and it's 40-something. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Night time, 46. Caramelised Nightmare has got a 46%. Oh. Caramelised Nightmare, where are you? Oh, dang it. I, I clicked on it and it went bigger and now it's shut me out. Okay, nighttime vision. Let's see if there's any others. Are any better than 46%? Oh, there's Hexberry. Hexberry, nighttime. Apparently it's got 51%. Hexberries. I wonder if this planet has Hexberries. I might be able to go pick some Hexberries in the day. Let's go and have a look. I mean, what I could do is I could set up another base on the opposite side of the planet, and when it's at night time on one, just teleport from one to the other, couldn't I? Graberry. 
Gamma weed. Grabberry. I don't think heptaloid wheat. I don't think radioactive planets have hex berries. The idea of building a base on the opposite side of the planet might not be so bad though. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so we only need to be 30 U's deep. So let's just have a quick look, see where I am on the actual planet in comparison. So I'm there right now. You can't see where my other base is though. All right, fine. And let's uh, stick down my base then. Check out, boom. Claim base. Yes. And I'll find an area that's 30 use deep. Okay, chums. Well, I've, I've built a catered. What I need to. Let's get my um, rod. Let's stick that in there. Sweet. And I'm at 38 use. I'll probably do the trick. Hopefully. In between the 38 and the 45 on my previous base. I've got a teleporter here, I've got enough power to power it. So hopefully this will all be good. Come on, medium fish. And we'd use the shadow law for the night period here. It's just gone 11, so we've got quite a lot of the night period left. Okay, so we've got large there. But that was a nighttime fish, wasn't it? Let's keep at it. Got a medium size, this is good. It's a good indication, but it's not night. So the Shadow Law is not really doing much, I don't think, right now. That was that other rare one that I needed, the glowing catfish. You know, but that's large, which we've already got. Shadow Law is good at attracting night fish, just not the legendaries. I think they need to up the chance of legendary on the night orb and the day orb and also the storm. I think they all need to have a higher legendary catch rate. Yeah, chums, well, I just looked into where I can get hex berries from. You can get hex berries from some, like exotic planets, and that's I've just done the fishing on the exotic planet in previous episode. So what I might do, I'm not catching anything on this shadow law. I might go and get myself some hex berries from my previous fishing holes. Yeah, give them a go. It looks like it's just about to turn to daytime. I can hear my solar panels opening. Before I give the hex berries a go, I'm now going to use the teleporter, go back to my other base and see if it's night time. Or if it's close to night time. <laughs> oh, we did get legendary. On the actual... I'm still on the shadow orb, right? I am. And I caught a legendary. Right. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's head on out here. Let's jump to my other base. Oh, I haven't uploaded this one yet. One sec, I'm going to just upload this base. Up a chow, better give it a name. Yeah. Okay, right. And let's go back to a current system. This one here. Zoom. Let's hope that it's night time over there. Yes, it's night time. But what time is it? It's just gone 11 o'clock. Brilliant. Okay, right. So, oh, that's 115. Let's leg it down here. Leg, leg, leg it, leg it, leg it. And we could carry on using the night orb for a second time. But I honestly do think we might have to go get some hex berries because they've got a better catch rate when it comes to rarity. There we go. Let's get that in. Let's see how we get on. The sun's starting to come up and I haven't had much luck. I didn't catch any legendaries with the shadow orb or shadow lore. Yeah, I can hear my solar panels waking up. This will be the last fish. I'm going to go get some hex berries. Now, there is also something called Nectar Island, which is a cake. But it looks a little bit complex to make. And I'd have to really go searching for the materials to get it. So, yeah. I'll go to my teleporter and we'll go get some hex berries. Chums, we have hex berries on that exotic planet where I was doing the fishing. It's actually a really cool planet. Let's go grab some hex berries. I'm probably just going to grab one batch of these and then clone the fudge out of them. Yes, duplications. Right, so let's go grab some hex berries. It looks like there's quite a few here, which is quite handy and dandy. I was thinking about going to grab a few before I actually done the duplication, but this has helped massively. Okay, here we go. You get quite a fair few in a stack anyway. Okay, done. We've just got ourselves a shed load there. Let's go back. What the fudge is that? It's one of those weird plant creatures. He's pretty cool. I'm going to scan him. 
Yes, you're in my lexicon of creatures. Cool. And I'm going to head on over here. I can do this in duplication, people. Just in case you haven't ever seen the duplication method before, and this is your first Captain Steve video. Here we go. Put that down like that. Go into here. Find our hex berries that we just grabbed. Where are you, hex berries? I think they've got like a grey background. Almost look like a DNA strand. They're not very easy to miss. So hopefully I'll spot them in here. Come on. There they are. Oh, it's got a green background. There we go. Uh, let's put that on top of there. So what you do is put a, a refiner on top of another refiner. Just like that. You just do it as many times as you want to clone them. I do for now. Then what I do is I get the, the pile that I've just cloned, which hopefully I'm going to have maybe close to 200 now. And the next time I clone them, I'll have like over a thousand. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Pow. In we go. Let's go find our hex berries again. They're going to be roughly in the same place as they were last time, or should be. It was around here. There they are. Oh, why is there already so... Ah, because you can only put 100 in a stack. There we go. Right, it's going to take up quite a lot of room in my inventory. Darn it! Okay, hopefully it's going to be worth it, though. And hopefully we're going to catch that fish super quick, you know? It's nearly my dinner time in real life. Yeah, this hasn't taken me all day. <laughs> I think it has. This is the first time I've had to craft a bait outside of the other baits. Okay, now to teleport back to my base. Is it going to be night time though? That's the question. Nope, it's not. It's daytime at this base. So let's um, <laughs> let's use base two. Oh, this is so cool. And hopefully it'll be night time. Okay, so we go. About warp. Oh, it's um, daytime here as well. Oh, it's getting close to night time here though. Not too far off. Cool, I can live with that. Right, well, let's go get baited up. Let's have a look at how much what the bait difference is with the Hexberry. So, hold on. What was the Shadow Law? The Shadow Law is 35%. Okay, let's go get our Hexberries. Let's put on 100. It says there, Rarity Catchment Improvement, 6%. Inside of the actual app, it says it's 54. That was a waste of time. Okay, all right, fine. Um, don't know what's going on there. Hold on. The app is based on PC Experimental, and PC Experimental has had another update. So I guess this hasn't been improved yet. It doesn't even give you the night time. Hold on. What is it? Yeah, it doesn't even give you the night time bonus. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're probably going back to the Bionic Law because it's going to give us the better chance of catching the legendary. And it is a legendary after all, isn't it? Oh well, well, we've got the hex berries for when that thing does roll over into all you know, the update from experimental into all platforms. Well, how do the chums? I've now got three bases. <laughs> three! So I can chase the sun or the moon or whatever you want to call it so I can keep it permanently nighttime. Now I found the sweet spot I film for medium sized fish it's in between the 15 and the 25 range so anything like 18 use 17 use all good i mean pretty much every fish that i'm pulling out is medium sized when i'm hitting that sort of depth so i'm sort of just casting through the floor here to hit that 17 18 sort of use and i feel that's the sort of sweet spot i mean the further you go towards the 25 there's the more larger fish you get the closer you get to the 15 and below it's, it's the smaller fish you start to get so there we go so here we go. I'm pulling out pretty much medium fish every cast now. Well, the legendary is a medium size. It's the golden jellyfish. It's not what I'm after. I'm after the dusk fish. Come on, dusk fish. I've just caught a medium. So, I've, oh, whoops, cast too far there. I'm going to cast about there. Come on. Man. Oh, it sucks. Okay, chums, I've just swapped back to the night law. I'm going to do a full night just with the night law and see if we get it. It's something I think should feature in. It's also the class of your multi-tool. So my multi-tool is an S class. So I think that should improve the catch rate 
it'd be nice when you hover over this to see the actual catch rate on the sort of class of multi-tool you've got perhaps i don't know or if we could get another module to put next to this fishing rod to increase rarity catch rate so at least then if you are using uh, the the shadow law that i'm using right now because it hasn't got a very good rarity catch but it attracts night fish at least it would give the boost to rarity as well as the ability for night was what i'm thinking so the problem is i'm catching lots of night they're always common or, or or sort of like uncommon i'm not even catching the rare at the moment the purple on this a shadow law that's the issue it just doesn't bring in the fish ah oh, oh, it's just saying it doesn't bring in the fish at the very next one boom got it at night this is it medium size legendary i used the shadow orb at 18 u's on this planet and it worked it freaking worked oh my days okay right there you go i'll give you the portal code one more time it's going to be easier for me and my editing to find it because i know it's on the last segment let's just uh, move myself over here so i can give you that screenshot there we go i've actually got three bases here now and there are different time zones so hopefully you can chase the moon and hopefully you can get this fish this fish was a git to catch okay people well that's that's that that's all that one wrapped up that's the that's freaking done okay options let's just go into the old catalog let's make sure that i have gone and got all the fishing records this is page one of my fishing catalog lovely so you can see all of those let me just move myself off screen so you can see that a little bit better there you go that's page one page two is almost done i just need that one um high temperatures on scorched welds i need to go to scorched welds next people and look none of the scorched fish are done so i need to go to a scorched planet planet to complete my page two and three but there we go and nearly finished all of page four so i don't know what biome this is but it's the start of another one we've done all of the lush and this is where I believe yeah this is where the exotic ones start the unsettling worlds so i don't know what biome this is i haven't got any grayed out to actually give me a hint of what that one is and there we go that's pretty much it done dilly and done so let's just go back a couple of pages and let's see if we can find the fish that i just caught giant sunray that's not it these are lush so there we go and there we are bulging snapper that was part of it so the one that i just caught was where are you there he no that's a bit of scale ray that's toxic there he is the aberrant dusk fish its wings beat slowly as it sails through the poison seas a drifter with no place to rest no end to their journey that one was freaking get to catch okay champs well thank you very much for watching if you've watched all this way you must like my video if you haven't hit subscribe please do and come back for more of the same so i've got a couple more pages to go but we've nearly done this whole fishing thing i guess salute goodbye goodbye and goodbye again